believe in what we hear and see Coming with the trickery and they put it through a TV And I could sit on steering chairs for some hours Not realising that it's devouring all our powers The new steady line projecting fear to the masses The Grenville Tower stood tall and now the building fucking ashes And you only think it's 78 that died When kids died, babies died and left moms traumatised We must be hypnotised because the world's forgotten This world is pre ice city because it's too rotten I tell my people that I got them because I really got them It's a dark night and I'm that dark Yo, this turns this news, man. And y'all going fuck with Grime O UK, man. I fuck with him, man. He real, he solid, and he linked with me, man. So make sure y'all fuck with Grime O UK, man. It's your boy Swiper, man. Trenches News, man. I'm out. With another banger. Yo, my peeps, what's good? I'm back like I never left. So I have to hit you lot with the next banger, innit? You don't know how the thing's set already. Now, I've been in tune with Trench's news for a hot minute, from when he used to do the Batman mask and all that, when he just started out. So I'd be there in the comments and on the lives, you know what I mean? I'm going to give you a little joke and tell you how real he is, yeah? Me being me doing this blogging shit and knowing that he was close to duck, I must have hit him up in a message and said, Yo, bro. Is it cool if I um, use a couple 10 second clips of your vid so I can push or promote you and whatever and there, 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 you get me? I didn't get a reply so, you know how it goes, I flipping rolled one, start bunning, forgot about the whole scenario and then my phone starts ringing. I pick it up and I see sw Swiper Gang or Swiper 3837. Now in my head, I said, oh, what the Ross? <laughs> How my man get my number? <laughs> then I looked at it again proper and it said video call. So mind you, I don't have no mask on. I don't even have, I'm in my boxes basically. So I answer the call, but I filmed the camera up at the ceiling. And my man just quickly said, yo, any footage that you see that you want to use, do your thing. Um push your thing, run up your bag, go get it, rare, 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 100% positive, do you know what I mean, and he just came off, now I could only take that as, he's somebody that wants me and my little thing to win, do you know what I mean, he wants me to go and get it, so I can, you know, bring back to my peeps and that, you get me, since then we've had contact, we've been in each other's lives and whatever, he's been on my page, checked out my stuff, commented, I said, yo, my man's too much of a real dude. I've got to link up with him. So we linked, innit? And we had a little chat. I started by congratulating him on his YouTube success, even his international success, because he's all over the place. Even us out in the UK is hearing what he's got to say. So my man's international at this, at this point. He lets me know that it's a very good feeling that he's taking off and that people showing love and supporting him. I asked him what was it like for him in Chicago growing up. His answer was just simply it was an, uh, he had a good childhood. Growing up in Chicago was lovely. I said to him, so how come there's so much gangster shit going on down there? He says there's always been gangster shit going on in Chicago from the Capone days, the Valentine's Massacre and all that. I then go on to ask him, yo, we hear a lot of negative about Chicago, the shootings, the gang stuff. Let me know something positive. Tell me something positive about Chicago. Swipe said, um, Chicago's a beautiful place, full of beautiful people. The landscape's beautiful. There's so much talent in Chicago. And he went on and listed a few things. But he then said, there is a lot of gangster shit down there, though. Now Swiper being a friend and affiliate of FBG Duck, you know he had to ask him some questions, come on. I then ask him, for the people on the platform that don't know, how did you get to be around Duck and was you, from, was you around Duck from the beginning? Swipe then tells me he was around Duck from the very beginning, he even helped Duck get onto radio, he, he was in cahoots with the whole group, he was, he was around them basically. He was around them on a ba daily basis kind of thing. I then asked him, um, I said to him, you was around Duck from early, so did you have a feeling 
that he would be great from earlier? Did you know that he would be that big? He said he always knew Duck would be big. He was very standout. He said little Jay had his talents and Dutchie had his talents about him as well. But Duck was very standout from some of his earlier songs. I then went on to ask him about what's all the madness with him and FPG Young Go Dump just so the platform could know about it because I already knew about the beef and all that. Swipe said um, he didn't want to keep on mentioning them people their name, do you know what I mean? He didn't want to continue things and I thought it was quite big of him to just kind of done things right there. I then asked him about Manny, FBG Duck's manager, innit? Was he robbing him? Was he creaming off the top? Because we've all heard the rumours, do you know what I mean? Swipe says, look, Duck came to him three days before he passed they have conversations about him leaving the management and getting a new deal with Rapalot Records so Swipe said um man he didn't want to let him go he didn't want to let the contract go so he could just go to the next label do you know what I mean and um Swipe's also said Duck didn't owe Manny no money so what he should have did was just give him his contract so he can go about his business and do his thing but yet Manny was trying to hold him back it seems again cause Swipe is moving away from all that madness with them lot he didn't want to talk too much on that so at this point I'm not silly I can sense vibes you know what I mean so I feel like the questioning is getting a bit too heavy so I'll try to lighten it a bit and I said could you give me a, a, a funny memory of Duck? He then goes into a time when they're all in the studio, chilling out, getting high, making tracks and stuff. And Duck caught him lacking. Ain't getting no money while you all on my dick. Go get you some money. It's, it's A-tail. 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 A-tail.